inspirational video of the day. Thanks for checking in. Please forward or share this with anyone you'd like to. Some of the days it'll be tips or habits to make you more successful. Uh, sometimes it'll just be some inspiration. Today's guest speaker is someone that I call my friend, um, Brad Clarenbeek. He's a um, PE, health, and fitness teacher at West Sioux, and he is also the winningest boys basketball coach in West Sioux history. I was lucky enough to be his assistant, and he's going to talk about a couple things uh, that I think he embodies really well. Um, part is being unselfish, um, doing things for others. Uh, part is keeping a good attitude, and then uh, he's going to actually start with the, the most important thing that he's ever taught me, which is um, you can learn from everyone. He said, Jerome, uh, don't ever think you you know too much or you know it all. You can always learn. You can learn from players, other coaches, anyone at any time. So I hope you guys enjoy his message. He's got a great one. This is Brad Clarenbeek. Uh, first of all, I want to give a big shout out to uh, a guy that I'm privileged to call my friend. Um, so a shout out to Mr. Hoig for for doing these. Um, I think it's a great idea. I enjoyed watching um, everybody's message. Uh, it's easy to take away something from everybody's message. And I think everybody's done a great job. Hopefully I can live up to the same things that uh, that I've seen. So, But before I start, I want to mention that I don't have everything figured out by a long shot. Um, I like to think that I continue to learn every day. And uh, even these videos that I've been watching, you know, I'm learning from everybody that's talked. Um, it doesn't matter what age you are, everybody can always learn from somebody. And uh, I think it's just a good thing. So anyway, kind of my story a little bit. Um, you know, life has, has uh, thrown some curveballs, I guess, um, and everybody has had curveballs in their life, uh, no matter you know what it may be. But uh, you know, as some of you may know, I was the head boys basketball coach for a while. Um, I think nine years I was the head coach. Uh, lived in Hayward and uh, thought things were going just awesome, and uh, life threw a curveball for our family. And um, long story short. Uh, I am an open book. I like to share my story, but I'll keep it short here. Um, I had to uh, uh, move my family's residency, which was a super, super hard thing for me to um, to move and then to give up my my coaching jobs. And so I had to go. I did that for the best of my family. Um, and when that happened, I had a poor, poor me mentality. I felt sorry for myself. I thought life wasn't fair. And as time has evolved a little bit, I've came to the conclusion that, you know what? Life isn't fair. And I think a lot of people need to realize that, you know, not everybody has it the same. Um, I have a 12 year old son that says that a lot, that that's not fair. And I always respond by, yep, it's not. Life's not fair. But it's just how you how you bounce back from those those things in life that kind of you know give you a punch in the gut. Um, I guess my advice is how do you respond to it? You know, are you going to be positive with it, um, or are you going to have the poor me mentality and you're going to complain and complain and have a drama filled life and oh I got it so bad. And I did fall into that for a while, but you know, I, I lived it and I learned from it that uh, be positive and surround yourself with good people. I am so fortunate that I have a lot of good people in my life. Um, you know, I mentioned Mr. Hoy, I call him a, a friend. I, you know, I have, I'm blessed with so many people that I can uh, talk with, you know, Coach Suisaw, uh, Brian Engelman, uh, Kazzy, Mr. Boza, trust all these people. I trust Mr. Dorhout. Um, I like talking with him, Mr. McVeigh. Um, I have great neighbors. Um, I have some brothers that I can talk to. Very fortunate that I, I can surround myself with those people. But uh, the most influential person that I have in my life uh, is probably my wife. She has taught me more than 
that I, I can explain. It's I've become such a better person through her and just a, a, a better man. So surround yourself with good people. And, uh, you know, someday they're going to need you too. And um, so that's kind of my main point. And kind of to wrap this up, I don't mean to make this too long, is, you know, be there for other people too. And, you know, we all know the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And, yeah, I like that. I love the golden rule. But take it a step further. You know, try to make somebody else's day. Um, you know, ask them how they're doing. Uh, just the simplest little things can really make a difference in somebody's life. So be kind, be respectful, uh, make sure you be confident and surround yourself with good people and be positive. And you do those things with a good work ethic. Um, life is going to be good and you'll be able to take those those uh, curveballs that life throws you at times. So take care, Falcon Nation. Go Falcons.